this is a short video to show you how to switch an image on or off depending on the value in your database. I've got a database table that's called countries and I've got three fields. One of them is called at war. It's a yes no type of field. I've got a country's name and I've also got a country's description. If I have a look at the table view, this is what I've got so far, two countries. One's Australia, who is at peace, so we say at war is, is not true or is no. And we've also got some a very short description. We've also got Syria, which is, um, it, whether we want to call it at war, they're at conflict. So I've said yes, they're at war. I put a tick in there, so that's a yes or a true. I've also got a form. My form at the moment, it's still got its default name called table one because it came from a database table that was called table one. I can change that later. Anyway, so here's the form. So I've got my at war ticked. I've got the name Syria. I've got the country description and I've also got my picture. If I go to number one, I got Australia where it's not at war and because it's not at war, it's showing a peace image. So the two images that I'm showing are one's called war and the other one is called peace. Um, if I have a look inside my folder view inside here, I've got every single thing inside one folder called DB. I've got my database and all the photos that I want to use in here. If I had thousands of photographs, I would use a, a subfolder so that I could keep them more organized. But I've just got the two photos here, peace photo, war photo. So how do I make it show up? When I'm inside my table, um, I, if I go to the design view, this is my image here inside this orange square. So I select that area there. The thing that makes the image turn on or off is inside the data um, control area and I select the dot 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 which is a is called an expression builder this is the expression that I'm building it looks complicated but it's not um, I've copied this into this display here I've got it's an if statement but in access it's you they use um, I I F capital I capital I capital F open bracket now the square bracket at war is the name of the thing you're testing to see whether it's got a check or, or not in it, if it's a yes or a no. Then you've got um, the test is equal whether it's yes or no. You've got what happens when the value is true. You've got what happens when the value is false. So we've got the argument. The argument is the thing you're testing. If something is yes, then show war photo. And then if that comes out to be no, it shows the thing that's after that comma, the peace photo. So if, what to do if it's true, what to do if it's false. That's what's typed up inside there. So if I have a look, I'll just move that out of the way. Cancel, I'll move that out of the way. Inside here, if I type equals, capital I, capital I, F, open bracket, square bracket at war, close square bracket, that's the name of the field, equals yes, comma. Now we're going to put the name of the image that we want if it's true and it's speech marks because it's the name of something in text warphoto.jpg that will pick the image with that name from the same folder that my database is in. If I've got a picture in a different folder I'd need to use the full uh, file path name so that's why I actually put it inside the same folder as the database folder. Now comma and this is the thing that will get shown if it is not true. Once you've done that, click OK and it looks like this. If you need to find out that, that um, control again, you click on the object. Make sure you've got your property sheet open. If you don't, then it's up here. You have to click on this to find it. And then go into control source and go dot 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 underneath the data tab. And that's the thing we just, we just edited. So let's go back here. Say I want to put it in from scratch. I've just deleted my image. Here's my here's my um, file, and he, sorry, not my file. This is my uh, form. So in my form, I want to go up here. I want to um, put into here a, and I just pick, find the image that's bound. I don't want bound because that means that's connected to the database fields. I don't want that. I'm looking for a file image. That one there, image. The last one. Click on that. Draw the square where I want the image to go, and then it'll. What it'll do, it'll try to 
give you the option to put in a photo straight away but we don't want that what we want to do is with this highlighted go to the data tab over here for image number 27 and click on the dot 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 and then what I've done is I've actually got this text ready to paste in type into here that text if at war if your field in your database is called a different thing if it's called at peace or war or peace or some variation whatever that is that has to be that name that has to be the field name in your database true is whether it comes up to be true or false if that's the thing you want to happen then I've got to get rid of up to there war photo dot jpg comma peace photo dot jpg but in speech marks close the bracket at the end then say OK now once I've done that I should be able to go to my other view so up here go to my form view and there is peace for Australia because that's not ticked and this is the war one because it's ticked it made that picture come up so I hope that helps if you're using that expression inside to make the condition of the photograph change depending on whether you've got a tick or a cross inside the at wharf folder one of the one of you was asking about this but i hope that's useful